Hello Pisces and welcome to your February reading. This is a general reading for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising. The messages are intended for the collective and topics can be around love, relationships, work or whatever spirit wants to come through. So if this is not your reading or does not reflect your situation, please check your birth chart for other prominent placements and watch those readings as well. For a personal reading or to purchase my Oracle decks, the link to Etsy is down below. And I, I want to thank those of you who have. Um, wow, I have connected with an incredible group of people. So thank you for that. Okay, let's begin shuffling. Let's find out what Spirit wants to tell you. What is the main focus for Pisces in February, Spirit? I have given these a pre-shuffle, but I'll do a little bit more. All right, main focus for Pisces in February. What does Pisces need to know about February activity, please? What needs to come through? Anything else, Spirit, for Pisces, February? Wow. All right, let's see what we've got here. Exchanging gifts. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at the other cards. Now I'm excited. Wow, beautiful energy. This is giving and receiving. This is, um, this can be, um, you know, love. This can be actual, you know, tangible things. It can be feeling like someone is a gift in your life. It's really beautiful. This is going to be a pretty nice love reading. Soulmates. Boy, my, my heart is just like pounding. I love that. Wow. Blessed. I mean, these cards really speak for themselves. The energy is unbelievable. And we have imagined. This is about imagining uh, the future with someone quite special. This is, this is feeling like you want to give your heart, your soul to someone. I'm, I'm just feeling such a, a beautiful, beautiful loving energy. Wow. Oh my. Okay. Pisces. It's going to be a nice February. Love is in focus for you. All right. Let's see what the strongest energies are around you this month. Strongest energies around Pisces spirit. What do you want to come through, please? Strongest energies around Pisces. Maybe there's so many, they don't know which one to deliver. Whoa, <laughs> there we go. I didn't even get to finish. Yep, 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 yep. I knew it. Okay, first we have transformation, death energy. This is either um, a current situation or new love coming into your life. Um, perhaps you have been um, without or maybe a relationship has uh, maybe been stuck or something, but there is a huge transformation on the way. I feel big, big energy with this, like major change. It could be moves. It could be uh, a declaration of love that um, maybe you didn't see coming. This is unbelievable. The lovers, harmony. Yep. There is big love written all over this and the star this is, I feel like this is a very healing, warm love. I, I feel, I, I, I know this is the star card in the psychic tarot, but I almost feel the warmth of the sun with this. And you know, I never noticed this before, but look at the, look at the person inside of this. The, maybe this person being delivered to you, look at these open hands, is a gift. Wow. Oh my God, I'm excited for your reading. Okay, let's dive in. Spirit, what other themes will Pisces experience in the month of February? What do you want to come through for them, please? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous overall energy. It really is. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's coming for you. Spirit, what do you want to tell them? What do you want to tell them? What needs to come through for Pisces, please? That fell on the floor. I think I saw what it was, but okay. Um, let me grab it. Wow. Holy crap. 
<laughs> okay, first we have balancing the situation. That's this transformative energy. M maybe this is a rebirth in a relationship, a chance to, to start again. Um, you know, the, the, for some of you, you might have, you know, had some false starts or something. Uh, there might have been something that was influencing your relationship. So it's it's changing and, and balancing out. That's that's great. It's wonderful energy. Marriage. Woohoo! Wow, could that be the gift? <laughs> and then we have forgiveness. Oh, yeah, I, I feel like this is a relationship that is um, just kind of having a rebirth. It's really beautiful. Okay, I don't think we're done yet. I'm going to get a few more. Anything else, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this situation? Dang. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we have Roots, Family History. This card never fails, comes up when there is a deep, deep soulmate connection. Beautiful. And drawn to you. There is no stopping this love. I might just entitle the reading that. Bottom of the deck sees the opportunity. I have a feeling someone is going to. Okay. Nothing can stop this love. I like that, actually. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I guess it wants to come out. Let's keep shuffling. What else, Spirit? What can you tell us about what Pisces will experience in February? What else needs to come through, please? What else does Pisces need to know regarding this spread? Okay, let me keep going and I'll put them in order. We have the Seven of Cups. It's This is about choices, decisions. Um having options, wanting to make the right decision. Um, I don't get confusion with this. I feel like this is about someone, somebody's approach. If, if things are, are, are being transformed and need to be rebalanced, this is about, okay, let me do this the right way. Something may have happened in this dynamic that someone wants to just talk to you about um, if something occurred I, I and forgiveness is needed I, I think that this is spirit just kind of punctuating listen the best way for you to heal your own heart and to transform and have a new start in this relationship is to to forgive to wow that's a it's a really strong energy I'm getting Two more major arcana, guys. We've got the star again. Repeat energy. Healing, transformative, wish fulfillment. Um, wow. And the chariot. Yeah, nothing can stop this love. I don't even know if we need to go any further, but let's. Anything else, spirit? Anything else? What does Pisces need to know about this? That's the King of Cups that was peeking out. I tucked him back in, but let's see. Whoa! <laughs> Those flew out. Okay, we have Justice Upright. Yes, balancing the situation. There is something that's going to be um, made right, I feel. This chariot can be actual travel, a journey. Some of you may be um, distance applies. Somebody is... is making the choice to, to come forward. I, I feel like they want life partnership. This is really amazing. Um, and then we have the page of wands. Approaching you creatively. I, I feel, and I also look at this, this little page as a traveler. Um, okay, let's... Let's stop there and let's get a few clarifiers. We'll find out what's going on here. So let's clarify that Seven of Cups. Choices, decisions. What is that about? Seven of Cups, please. 
Seven of Cups. Why is that here for Pisces regarding this spread? Okay, we have two cards. Ah, making a decision to offer love. Yep, the, I think that they're, this, this card shows this person blindfolded, but I feel like I feel like the decision is being made. I feel like it's more about the approach than the actual message. Because this, this just um, screams somebody coming back in to, um, to make it right, to offer forever. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. All right, we have the Five of Wands and the Empress. I feel like somebody is fighting for this relationship. I don't, I don't think that this is struggle or conflict. I think that this is about um, a determination. I'm getting a determination with this. There may be challenges or obstacles, but... Um, Wow. Anything else? Anything else? King of Swords energy. Air energy. This is somebody making um, a decision. This is someone having courage. Uh, being bold. Um, let's look at justice. We have balancing twice. So what needs to be balanced out, Spirit, in this situation? Okay. Interesting. We have the hermit energy. Um, seeking truth. This is about, um, you know, being in, guided. Maybe someone spent some time alone thinking about this. Coming together. For, for just a few of the few of you, this could be, um, you know, resolution of a, of a, you know, an interference or, or another party in the relationship. I also feel like for some of you, if distance is a factor here, because I'm looking at this chariot and I, I'm, I just keep getting distance. This might be that someone has been alone for too long and they're ready to come together. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Five of Pentacles. Somebody may be walking away from another situation. Or you may be feeling out in the cold. Okay, let's get out the Arcanum Tarot and we'll just get any other energies that want to come through. Spirit, anything else you want to tell Pisces about what looks to be a really nice reunion? What do they need to know about this, please? What do they need to know? Oh, my God. <laughs> Pisces. I think, oh, this, this is really nice energy. Anything else, spirit? Whoop. Wow. Okay, and this one is peeking out. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. First card, the Four of Wands. This is my happy forever card. I, I also associate this, as many readers do, to Twin Flame Energies, Divine Partnerships. This is about home. This is about forever. Um, wow. Temperance energy, patience, healing. I feel like this is definitely a divinely guided connection. Wow. Somebody is really wanting to work on this partnership. Three of Pentacles. And for a third time, we have the star. Boom, boom, boom. Love it. Very strong energy, guys. It's a beautiful reading. Somebody is coming in. Okay, and because we have a, a romantic situation on our hands, let's take a look at the Romance Angels. Pretty cut and dry. For those of you who are coming together with a soulmate or who have been separated from a soulmate, get ready. It's time. Wow. 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 Okay. What else does Pisces need to know about this beautiful coming together spirit?
anything else, please? <laughs> I don't know why this does it to me every time, but it does. Okay, we have, wow. First up, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is all about coming back together. We have reconciliation. My goodness. For those who are, uh, you know, involved or if your person is involved in another situation, that five of pentacles energy about walking away from something or releasing something that perhaps was an interference, um, you know, that's being cleared out. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Wow. Okay. The lighted pathway. Let's get some energies around. Spirit's guidance, outcome, even timing if it feels like coming out, although this is a general reading and I doubt it will, but let's see what's happening. Guidance for Pisces, Spirit, regarding this beautiful, beautiful coming together. Oh my God. Anything else? I love this reading. I am absolutely in love with this reading and I am so happy to be your messenger wow okay challenges ahead that's okay what is worth having is so worth fighting for you know this it's this person is ready for this so clear <laughs> deep love oh I yeah yep Wanting forever. Unbelievable. Okay. Wow. I look forward to, to hearing some of your stories. Um, this is really beautiful. And for those of you who have um, stuck it out in a situation that really uh, was, was kind of tough, be it distance or other influences or whatever, um, your time has come. Okay, Pisces, have a wonderful February. Thank you for being here. I wish you love and light. Bye.